Good kitten internet, let's fight some more optional monsters now, shall we? Alright, so there's, what, eight optional monsters in the game? Nine, technically? Ten? Ten optional bosses in the game. Um, we have fought three of them, that is. We have fought our nice and lovely ghost that we one-shotted. We have fought uh, Zyklus and Zetra. That's three total. So we've got seven more. Let's go do them. Uh, the first one I want to go to is in the Wind Tiger's Den. Um, one, let me figure out where that's at. All right. I just had to remind myself where things were. It's been a long day. So it hasn't been that long. It's only a little bit past noon here. I'm still waiting for my grocery order uh, to even be packed. It's not going to arrive for another, like, three hours, so it's not a big deal if it's not packed yet. But let's go to Wind Tiger's Den. I don't think this boss was too difficult, and I'm not going to look up any information on them. So that's not fun. This is Zolinch. All I have is literally, hey, look, these are the optional bosses. This is where they're at. No details on what the optional boss is. That looks like a Godzilla part. Limb from limb ripping monster Zolinch. And yeah, when you're on boss duty, Ashley is generally the best option. Especially for those, uh, the enemies that we had last time. But I don't want to rely on Ashley for everything. I had said that I don't want to do that, and I mean it. Let's get our equipment away. Lucky card! Get your force up a little bit. Careful. Belly! Then toe sacks, because I don't know if they do instant death. Ripper boom! That thing's a boomerang? I don't remember this. I know I fought all of the optional monsters in the game, I just don't remember much of anything. Belly! All right, what do we got? Oh yeah, I still need her other force abilities. Where are those at? Isn't one of them actually here? Hold on a moment. Let me go look that up while I'm thinking about it. Where are Maribel's force abilities? Okay, one of them... Oh, yeah, they're in a dungeon I haven't gone to yet. I should probably go do that after this boss, so I'm going to do that. Uh, no elemental power red, darkness elemental red, earth, wind, lightning, water. Fire. Nice. Absolute zero. I have no idea if it's weak or strong against anything for reference. A smarter player would actually be, oh, I don't know, searching for this. I'm a smart player. That doesn't look pretty. No, that hurt. I punch you in the belly. Over rain on the belly. Does a decent amount of damage. Absolute zero on the everything. You're not weak or strong against ice. That's good to know. Let's start hitting other elements. Uh, how about fire on both? Tim, you're on first aid duty now. 
Prepare to attack. Crap. That's probably going to be a super powerful ability. Should I just have everybody defend next turn? Alright, top is strong against fire. That probably means it's weak against water. Oh, it's just an area of effect normal attack. That's good to know. Um... Invincible in case if we need somebody to survive. That missed anyway. That did next to nothing in damage. What the hell? Hey, okay, not weak against water. Interesting. The strong against uh, fire does half damage. Water and ice both do normal damage. Keep going through the elements, I guess. Uh, thunder? So we've already done light. We haven't done earth yet. Oh, I'm only hitting the belly here, so that doesn't help too much. It's a belly. Radiant frequency blade. We got one blue. No status effects, okay. Cannon's at 100 FP. I'm going to have to have her use her ability soon. Bottom's weak against Earth. Got it. Gat 4, Eagle Claw, Zabelle. Now we know it's Earth. The bottom, at least. Might be Earth for the top as well. I don't know. And throw in a first aid. Oh, you know, that injured. I'll do first aid next turn. That won't bite me in the posterior at all. Another blade arm for ow. Got for Zabella. Belly's still up. Belly's still up. Definitely Earth all around. Huh. Nope, Belly's gone now. Okay. Desperately need a first aid. Oh crap, that goes off before first aid. I've made a terrible mistake. Ah, uh, poop. He's done that yet. Okay. Um, cannon, use a full revive on Tim. Marivel, I really wish you had a healing ability. Oh wait, you do. Endocrine boost. You can buff yourself. Nothing happened. Okay. Numb? Only well, got 382 hit points. Is that actually her magic stat at the moment? Doesn't look that way, but it could be. Really hard to tell with everything getting increased frequently. It might even just be magic stat plus or minus 10% type of thing. You know, like everything else in this game is. Uh, I wish I had those, but I'm, I haven't gone to that dungeon yet. Terror break. Attack to the face. Ah! Maybe I should have been treating this enemy with a little more respect. Only do a regular revive. Oh, 
That's why I had Cannon heal herself. Okay. I am in RF Blade range, unfortunately. There's not much I can do about that. Oh crap, I can't first aid yet. Uh, gonna have to be Loka. With a Mystic. It's my only real option. For some reason, I don't have my Area of Effect ability crest thing. I wonder if that's also in a different dungeon. I don't have it, right? Yeah, no, I don't have it. Um, it's Mystic Mega Berry. Let's just be done with this, just in case if something dumb happens like that. Mega Berry for everyone! Heal up all the way. Okay. Tim, come back. dead. Oh, what the hell am I doing? <sighs> I always forget I have those stupid rings. That's gonna be way more damage. Yeah. That's a lot more damage. Why did I use the power boost ability? Rock Gazer, which is the low level one, but it's still a decent amount of damage, and that's all that matters. Gat 4, Eagle Claw. You're back in being able to use things like Terra Break. You're back in being able to use things like Graviton. RF Blade is back to Wreck Mas Doof. I think it might be dead this turn? I don't know how many hit points it has. I, again, I didn't bother looking at anything. What's the fun of that? 11,000 damage. As you do. You know, casual 11k. It's fine. Now it's dead. Yay, death did. Oh, where in the world is that dungeon at? 150,000 XP, 250,000 Gela. Cannon's hit 50, Barrelville's hit 46, Tim's 52, Ashley's 46, Brad's 51, Lilka's 52. You can see everybody's kind of... Ah, this dims. Wait. That's an accessory in this game, isn't it? That's actually his best weapon. Okay. I was wrong. The guide was wrong when I was looking that up because that actually makes Tim with 424 ATP better than Marivel. This makes a lot more sense now. Anyway, we're done with that. Although, come to think of it, uh, no, I don't want to leave yet. Right, have 
to go past the first stage. And here I can do that. I want to heal up. to go to that dungeon where I can actually get the rest of Maribel's abilities. Uh, that is... 18. Oh, it's this dungeon. I hate this dungeon. But... Gotta do it. Go north. Wrap around the planet. Going into here. Ha! Why do I not see it? because it's triggered on something that I haven't done yet. <sighs> and there's no in-game hint whatsoever that you're supposed to do this. I really don't like it when there's, like, no chance of figuring things out on your own. Remember these two? People who run Gunner's Heaven, um, the ones that are actually from the first game by these developers. Well, you look like you certainly got some odd friends. What's with them? What an inc incredibly rude girl. You should apologize. These are my friends made with ultra high tech hub and knob. Uh, machines, eh? I know an even better laboratory. Something Big Bro and I heard back when we were being mercs a while back. Apparently there's a mysterious lab surrounded by mountains south of Silverland. Bet they're really ultra high tech. Things these girls say. It's okay. I'll show her that the real rulers of Fulgai are the Crimson Nobles. Now, on to destroy the lab. Or maybe we should just check it out. Let's go, Ashley! Yeah, she says something different for each character. But... Merrillville's the only one that takes offense. So... Yeah. Just sometime after you get her, you have to go and talk to her. That's it. That's the part that I was missing. Neom. Now you see the plus. I said I'm playing directly on top of it. 
All right, save stating because this is a one-way trip. Yes, that music should sound familiar. The bunk let out a fart. Turn around slowly. If we have any behavior that heats things up in the living room, I can't help but to drag irons. It shines, it's it makes noise, release it to the red beam for the red beam gun to scatter bullets. A shocking scene might play itself right out be here before us. God damn it, Lizard. Ah! I'll scream! Someone help! Someone! Trespassing! Hard, hard, hard. Hard, hard. You're alive? Earthworms and crickets are so, so cool because they're alive. Being so alive is so unbelievably fabulous. Uh, yeah, that's what I usually believe. Uh, but why are you here? Weren't you on the Heimdall Gazo when it went... After that, I didn't see you around anymore. Oh, sorry, wrong character. <laughs> After that, I didn't see you around anymore. I'm so happy. No, don't bring that up. Don't go inquiring about my past. Uh, spotlight on top of Liz. That day. I... Oh boy, he started talking about himself. He wants me to listen. There's a lot like him around. They only talk about themselves and want everybody else to pay attention. Actually, we weren't on the Heimdall Gasso. But it was a Dis's final battle. Are you really one of them? Actually, I'm a little unsure about that, too. Um, shows you how much they valued me. They only requested up to DEFCON B. Ah, so you guys can't help but get in the way and hold us back. But you also got in the way of them and held them back. So they didn't care about you. I hope to do a little military maneuver with little Vins at least once. Hard, hard. By the way, that reminds me. I've never seen them performing maneuvers with the Odessa soldiers at all. In fact, they haven't been in the same room. Yeah, yeah, they were probably just being used. Oh, that's sad and pitiful. Except it's Liz and Ard, so I don't care. Seems the top contender gathering sympathy votes. Uh, what I want isn't anything like that. I have a dream to fulfill, even if it means working with terrorists. I want the endless sea of stars. Are you all right? I'm a stickler for manners. How dare you tell me that? But you always say such outrageous nonsense. But really, why did such, um... Unique creatures, such as the two of you, decided to team up with Odessa anyway. Do you know the smell of the earth and our true feelings? I was lured here by the red tractor beam. I'll diverge the secret, secret past. Please just keep it brief. I got involved in terrorism so I could return to my homeland. I won't do anything bad from now on. Promise. Huh. You actually can do it when you try. You know, being concise, I don't believe you at all. So, science? Stop it, Ashley. It's as though you're making fun of science. Science! Right, science! Science converted me! Oh, yes. How can you say that after you've made such a mistake with science? I can't believe it! All I want to do is return to my home now. No. My dream comes true and all creatures will be healthy and peace will be assured. Don't want things so peaceful that everybody's bored, though. Finally, the idea of food vanishes. The smallest morsel is refused to the soldiers' chant will be quiet. Wow. I was almost enlightened just imagining it. I wonder if he'll really be alright? You kind of have no choice but to believe because, um, we are in imaginary territory. I don't understand. 
So, what do you want us to do? Oh, I'm so marvelously happy. Now, Lucius is a combat unit. Please show me around here at my own home. Uh, this here is ours. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What do you mean you want to be shown around? Isn't this your lab? We were locked out by the security system. Uh, yeah, eventually the computers rebelled. This is first class hard science fiction. Think if you're so smart. But I don't want to make. They're quite a masked wrestler. Don't enter the tiger's den and there won't be any orphans. If you face adversity now, everything else will be easy. The only thing that I can think is that they're both bugged. Alright, let's show you around. Just go home or wherever. The young one changed his mind. Tip hip hooray! Hard. Hard! Fab Science Lab. It's written, high pressure sales and newspaper solicitations prohibited. So, this is a dungeon that actually requires Marivel. Uh, that's not the ability I wanted to use. That is. Which makes sense, given that your reward for this dungeon are two abilities from Arrival. Oh, what is it? The UFO we built to take back us back to the Sea of Stars. The sea of Stars? What type of creatures are you? Ah, uh, you have been so generously exposed to public- Ah, you have so generously exposed publicly our dazzling form. Hidden in this forceful, stout body, and with our status, we are... You're taking too long. You're leaving us behind with us. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, so that's in a nutshell. I'm a Lizardian. I came by air. Or you could say we, um, crashed. Oh, really? So you're aliens? I mean, your perspective is totally messed up. Tell me about it. All right, let's blast the invaders. Oh, hold on a moment. I need to check something. Oh, seriously? Got a notification and nothing told me about it. So apologies. All right. Sorry about that. Hey, what are you doing? Is this a joke? Why the sudden change? Our Hard, 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 hard. Uh, either way, they didn't belong to a planetary federation, nor was there any rescue squad coming to this sort of remote region. So we gotta fix this ourselves. Do you call this acting like a victim? That was wrong, right? Hard. Uh, regardless. Be easy if you only need to return home. Just get out, please. So we'll banish you from Planet F. No, no, really. We will send you off. We never want to see you again. It's a decision that makes everybody happy. A special space engine has already been attached. All we have to do now is get in. By the way, this section of the game is the most meta section of the game that I can think of. There is no fourth wall. So, 
We can't enter. Well, it makes a sound effect, but it doesn't actually say anything. Neat. Alright. What's this? It's a security system I set up. Then you go and do something about it, please? Uh, with the computer vault, it won't recognize its master. Time for the hard science fiction to demonstrate its capabilities. What is a hard science fiction? You keep saying that. Hard, soft, regular? Leave that alone, just deactivate it ourselves because you don't do anything. I remember that response. Yes, you should. Everybody hates you, Liz. What percentage of the character's hit points are restored by the gems, large and small, respectively? This is the trivia section for the section of the game. So if you get things wrong... Oops. Then I think you have to redo things? It's a series of questions, and yeah. So I believe that's it. What is the origin of the name of the Emma motor that powers the Valeria Chateau? So, it was from an emu-like life form. Emma is for the electromagnetics, or it was built long ago by Emma. What is the origin of the boss monster Calavos, who appears in the Withered Ruins? The problem is that, again, everything dealing with Liz and Art are horribly translated, which means this question doesn't actually make sense. At all. So I got those questions wrong. What a combination of monsters appears in the Millennium Puzzle? So I know that there's a blue book, but unfortunately that's on all of them. Um, I don't think there are any balloons. Original power called Bayonet. Well, that's Ashley. Total hit points of a boss monster, I have no idea. If Ashley plus Tim is 31, then what is Brad plus Lilka? So that's their ages combined. Ashley's 19. Oh, I don't know. What type of item can be pickpocketed from the lindworm? I guess a big berry. Average time needed for Lombardia to circle Phil Gaia. How much does a heelberry cost in bell ringing helmets? Well, you can't buy heelberries, I know that. Just gotta save state this. Which is the youngest among these characters? Tim. Maravil's the oldest by far. Between Tim and Cannon, which one needs less XP to become 99? There we go, I got three right. How would you do this beyond pure guessing or grinding so much that you have the entire game completely memorized? I don't understand. Average time for Lombardia, Circle Phil Gaia, no idea. The player character gender ratio is one to one in this title. So what's Lucid's gender? Remember what I mentioned before that I knew for a fact that Lucid was a guy by virtue of the fact that I know that there was something later on that calls out the fact that each playable character is balanced between men and women? In the hidden settings, what is the length of the Hokulaton in meters? What hidden settings? What? What percentage of hit points? Origin the Emma motor. Calvios.
It's looping through the questions at this point. What did you finally get after suffering for almost three years? Huh? I am so confused. Sorry, I got notification again. What? What parameter is changed by increasing response value? Uh, evasion percentage does increase. What is the total number of crest sorcery spells that can be cast by Loka? It is 32, because it's two banks of 4x4. Four four. Dang it. Hidden settings, I have no idea. Player character gender ratio. I chose the wrong one, don't care. Total hit points, I have no idea. Bayonet is Ashley. Combination of monsters, I think that's it. I don't know. Oh wait, no. I know what this is a reference to now. So, I even called this out in Wild Arms 1. In the little screensaver thing, they had to show all of the icons in the game, but there was an icon extra in the game because they never actually added the item. It's in the game's code. You just can't do anything with it, and it only appears in that screensaver. It's the Holy Grail. I do know that one. This is evasion percentage. I know that. And I know that. What? Is it actually 64 and not 32? Okay. This is actually from Ivy. I should pause the recording for a moment. One moment. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go with three meters. Oh, damn it. Wait. Total number of Crest Sorcery spells. It's not the number that you can have memorized. It also includes the bonus spells. So it's 40. That's why I keep messing that up. All right. That makes more sense. <sighs> you see why I hate this dungeon? Do you see why I hate this dungeon? There's no enemies in here. There are no random encounters. None at all. I mean, no enemies might be the wrong thing to say, but there are no random encounters. Something's happening! Now, the Bulkidon is revived, crushing the Forbidden Silence! It's the thing that they've been working on the entire game. You! A savage and miraculous symbol of destruction takes on a wonderful pose. Bulkidon is here now. Bulkidon! Kokidon. Bulkokigon. Bulk. Bulkokidon. 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 All together now. Bulkokidon! Ard, ard, ar, ar, ar. Ugh. This computer's broken, right? Probably can't tell who's an enemy and who's an ally, right? Uh. Uh oh. Um. 
help save me, you reliable, trustworthy soul. Why should I look after you? Because it's a boss battle. That's right, we finally get to fight Bulkoki Dun. Which is completely ridiculous looking. Yep. <sighs> completely ridiculous. I don't think it actually has any weaknesses. If it does, it would be electricity. But I'm just going to equip my punching gloves. Wherever they are. Uh, oh, that's power boost. There we go. Remember this being somewhat difficult, but not super hard. Thanatos text. Small amount of damage, that's for sure. Yep, I might have a problem here. I didn't mean to hit load. Ah, uh, well. I'll just keep going. this place so much this. I don't know if I can fight this right now Does too much damage. Heck, I probably need Brad instead of Marigold. Let's go the original three. Original Creo, as it were. Why do I have Moonstone equipped on Marigold? Why don't I just get rid of that? Okay. We have some of these. Might as well use them. up, did I? I need increased defense. Shield on... Actually, hold on a moment. You actually need a dang stigate goat. Because this is going to be impossible if Loka keeps getting KO'd. Ash 
actually needs to charge. Brad and Hype Weapon Ashley. Because Brad's here as a tank. Now that Lilka is protected from being killed immediately. Shield self. One way of freshen. We might have a problem here. Yeah, we might have a problem here. I don't know if we can fight this. We are actually low level for this, for reference. Um, normal recommend level to fight these boss monsters are level 55 or so. We are definitely not level 55. My luck is abysmal right now. That does not help anything. have something that nullifies paralysis. I just wanted to fight random bosses and not these. I forgot difficult this boss was. I might be stuck. Constantly make noise. I don't care, Pogo. Okay. Honestly, I'm tempted to use that full carrot. You have force charge. You're the one with branch zap. I need you to almost pipe weapon on Ashley. Tim. A save state here because I can undo save state still. Is Tim fast enough? Okay, Tim is fast enough. Tim's also high enough level where FP shift actually makes sense. Short stall. That's enough to immediately hit scapegoat. game. The 
this appears to be a battle I'm using scapegoats in. death. Did not hit this time. That's good. Get rid of that stupid drill. On Mo. Get lock up, I guess. dead. That's 8,000 damage. I can't stop that right now. Um, Ashley, access, Tim, or revive Brad. Regular attack, I can deal with that. point for Wilka. Maybe even... Maybe I should go for Cannon, actually, because Cannon has more hit points. I might actually survive one of these attacks. Thirty-four. Thirty-four damage. I mean, I know I don't have a guardian equipped like I should have. That's nuts that I'm only doing 34. And I am, I guess? No, I would actually rather have Rafting Death. Lilka, please get yourself a scapegoat because you're not going to survive this otherwise. Mystic. Uh, Pixie Dust. Body attack missed. Cool. Cannon swap for Tim. Tim it was going to heal. Weakness. No way oppression, paralyzing everybody again. Uh, Cannon's the one not paralyzed this time. We are swapping people. Maraville's just going to be a sacrifice in this case. I can't do that. It's gonna have to be like that.
I basically have to rely on not getting biffed upside the head. That's what it boils down to. They have to attack Tim or Loka, not Ashley. Basically, they can't attack Ashley and hit. Ashley's my only way of doing damage right now. He's the only one who can survive a hit. Nope. What? Oh, it's because he got taken out. Okay. That didn't work. Getting Ashley to Mighty Morphing status makes sense. But Tim does not. I think I actually have to have Loka there. Because Loka can get, get everybody to max right now. Tim can't. Also, Tim should totally have Dandarium. He's one shot at, getting one shot at anyway. Okay. Ashley. Yes, I know I still need a lucky card. Hype weapon for self. Brad. anything I can do, so lucky card. Loka. Mystic Full Carrot. I hate doing this because I only have three of them. There's only three in the game. I forgot to equip the scapegoat on Loka. Ashley's the one paralyzed out of that. Cool. Switch back to Tim. I wish I had two of those amulets. Yep. You know what? Equip the holy tablet. Um, no. You might as well equip the circlet. Nobody else can. No, come to think of it, actually, equipping cut on Ashley makes way more sense. The heck am I thinking? Um, but that means that you're weak against fire. Pixie dust Ashley. Tim needs the first aid. Healing. Access. Wait, who do I need this round? I think this might actually make more sense because nobody got hit last round, so Loka can heal herself. Hell, Loka has 100 force points, she can do whatever the hell she wants. Us. Boost the railgun? Onto the drill. That might do something. Lilka, you need to high heal yourself. You could do an extend. No, why would I do that? I can... This heals more. And I have plenty of Mega Berries. It heals more and costs... It heals the same and costs fewer Force Points. Dagger. That hurts, but I can deal with that. The name of the game is hit it for everything I can. I heal Ashley. 
21,000 damage. As long as I do enough damage, I'll be fine. Punch for 46. Okay, that's fine. That is a perfectly fine attack because I can still survive that. Honestly. This is actually more damage. I bet. I'm only doing 4,600 damage or so with Brad, whereas High Flame does 8,000. Yeah, 8,700. And it's really slow. Okay. I'm going to get paralyzed. Those are not the two I wanted to see paralyzed. There's only Brad. Okay, that's not too bad. Gun Blaze. Ooh, we took out the drill. We took out the drill. Okay, this is getting better. Um... Brad is low priority. I could just swap Brad out with Cannon, although Brad's a tank. And I could really use a tank right about now. Man, I wish I had multiple blue circlets. That would or blue anklets. That would be really helpful right about now. Okay, we're removing that from Brad. Well, I think it's actually weak against all elements, if I remember right. Brad, you don't get Justine anymore. That goes to Cannon. Swap Brad out, put in Cannon. Now I don't have to worry about healing Brad right now. I would much rather heal Ashley and Loka. And Blade's Belly. Cannon. Kick the belly. Wilka. You are Mystic Mega Berry. So I've got two people down. And I have plenty of Mega Berries. Let's go. And I'm doing a lot of damage. That damage is not so great. So the reason why it's going away on Loka is that I'm actually spending with, um, whatchamacallit, um, I am spending force every time to heal. to actually do damage. This is my best bet. I'm expending a bunch of Mega Berries, but I can steal those. That's not a big deal. Yay, that was a miss. Oh, wow, she's actually not slow. Okay. So, Lilka's now status locked, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. That was the reason why I brought Miracle out. Now, I can actually bring out one of the people who are paralyzed, like Brad... Only have Bokogidan left. 
Luca can actually restore Brad now. Ashley, continue your gun blazing goodness. Brad, you you need to equip that ring. I completely forgot to unequip cannon after that. Cannon, or Brad, you have Justine and fire ring. Again, I think it's actually all elements that Kukuki Nun is weak against, but. Fire's an element. Red, punched in the face. Lilka. I heal Brad. And I know I've already lucky carded. Did that on the first round, I remember. Little buddy attack on Lilka. This is the reason why she has a go. This is the reason why I forgot to equip her with a goat ball. Damn it! <laughs> okay, this could be bad. I'm actually gonna save state here. Risky, but. Full revive, Loka. Okay. The reason why it's risky is that Loka has no force points right now, and she needs force points to do anything. But if I can take this thing out, I'm fine. I'm not going to use another full carrot. I'm instead mini carrying Lilka twice. That should 50 force points should be enough. Life Returner, you're healing for 7,500. Okay, I don't care. I'm doing more than enough damage. Brad Punch. Luka, you can actually do things. Like a high flame. So everybody's healed right now. Well... Cannon's still paralyzed in the back. And Bukukadon goes down. Okay, this video did not turn into the most extracting it to. I completely forgot about this dungeon. 80,000 XP, 120,000 Gala. Ashley hit 47, Brad hit 52, Loka hit 53, Merrillville hit 47, Cannon hit 51, Tim hit 53. And I gained two more coin purses. That means that I can double the amount of money that I gain. Also, could I have stolen something from Bukogidon? Uh, yes, I could have stolen a tiny flower. Don't care. Because there's a lot of things I could steal tiny flowers from. Like, uh, are there actually any normal enemies? Yes, there are normal enemies I can steal tiny flowers from. A lot of bosses, but... We've won. So you better just give up now. Goodbye. You giant who taught me about justice and courage. Get on. Hard. Uh, giant. Uh, you show empathy for the strangest things. Let's move. Notice that these are PlayStation controllers. This entire sequence is fourth wall breaking. All right. Final part of this. Seeing it closely really fits with 
if I can speak, that would be great. After all, it's a space engine steamroller of my design. Have the shape fly. Okay, time to let her rip. Let's see how well the experiment fares on this run. Sure, blurred out some very, very calmly, some very strange, scary things. You know that? Uh, yeah, that's because we don't care about you. Puppies and kitty! Uh, what is that? Is this like a dog catcher's house? Uh, you're not the kind of and involved in some type of animal trade, are you? Why were we chased down? We're blood brothers! Adoring ideal scientists form a happy but embarrassing destined partnership. Uh, to summarize, you know them? Uh, you can say we're comrades. We had the volunteer to help our, our departure from the harm to the harm. Ah, uh, cannot speak. We had them volunteer to help with our departure to the homeland. Hard, hard. You're very popular in some very odd places. But there's a kitty there. Yay, kitty. Maybe the natural world took action to control the ecological system. I think what that's supposed to be is basically maybe nature decided this was a foreign species and started trying to get them away as fast as possible. So what are you going to do? Are you going to take them along? Hurting is very well sad, but I can't let you do that. While we're fated to go, we're also fated to stay and protect and trust Gaia to their care. Uh, sure, that's cool. I doubt the wisdom of leaving our star in their care so easily. It's your planet, not your star. The sea of space. The sea of stars. Separate. Not words for takeoff. To be sent only by those that I adore. We go to the sea of stars. Our yard. Catch opens. We're flying off. All right, it's time for the big takeoff. And there they go, never to be seen again. Well, off they went. Yep. Uh, what's that? Also, nice gameplay integration there. Um, what's this? Wow, do you think those could be UFO parts? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, evacuate immediately! My soul was pulled in by Phil gravity. Hard, hard. Yep, they stay here forever. Type zero long range air attack golem recalls Lucifer to turn the enemy back into light. And Asgard two. Modified type three heavy defense golem recalls Asgard two to crush the enemy. Makes me so mad. I'm trembling. Hard, ar, ar, ar. That's it. Nothing else can be done at this point of the game. I'm gonna see if I can talk to the puppies again. I don't think I can. I think they disappear. Yeah, they disappear at this point. There's nothing else here, if I remember right. Just double checking because there's no enemies in here, so it's not like this is too difficult for me to run through. Outside of falling into these stupid holes. Except that I can't knock this over anymore. 
So yeah, that was the Fab Lab. I had to use a... I don't like the fact that I had to use a full carrot to make that boss battle work, but don't really have much of a choice. So yeah, they're just there forever. You can't even talk to them anymore. That entire dungeon was just to get the two parts for... Um... Whatchamacallit, um... Silver Yeah, Silver Lane has a save point. Um, the two parts for... Maribel. It's been a while since I've been here. Maybe next time I will actually talk to the queen. Or maybe I'll remember some other random optional content that I completely forgot about. I'll talk to It's been a long video at internet. I will talk to you next time. Bye! Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, there was no kitty in this video. It just dawned on me. That stinks. He's not even in his normal spot. He's probably in his other normal spot. Anyway, bye!